Hi friends, welcome back with new amazing video from Top Movies Recap. Today I'm going to recap a 2016 horror slash comedy film titled Fido Spoiler Warning. Watch out and take care. In another universe, the globe has been engulfed by a cloud of cosmic radiation. The radiation reanimated the buried bodies, which thereafter assaulted humanity as flesh-eaten zombies. The earth was soon overrun by such creatures, who began slaying everybody who got in their way. The human race retaliated, resulting in a zombie war. Humans had a hard time resisting the conflict until Dr. Reinhold Jiger, their rescuer, produced the Zomkin. If a zombie's brain is harmed, the zombie will die and never reanimate, according to the doctor. The soldiers fighting the zombies used this information to target their brains, and the war was quickly won. To protect their settlement from further zombie attacks, Zonkin created a security system. They constructed a perimeter fence around the town to keep the zombies out. People dying within the fence, however, would transform into zombies due to the radiation. The lives of people were in grave danger until Dr. Reinhold Jiger came up with a brilliant innovation known as the domestication collar. The zombies' meat desires would be satisfied by wearing this collar, making them docile. The collar's red light indicates that the zombies' appetite for flesh has been stifled. If the light on the collar goes out, people are advised to phone Zonkin or press the nearest safety button. People began using zombies as maids and butlers to assist them with home chores once they grew tame. Those who did not want to live as zombies and could afford a funeral were buried deep underground with their heads severed from their bodies, a practice known as reanimation free burial. Children in Willard are taught about Zonkin and the history of zombies in school. Jonathan Bottoms, Zonkin's chief of security, pays a visit to one of these classes. Cindy, Mr. Bottoms' daughter, is also enrolled in the class. Mr. Bottoms brags about tightening the town's anti-zombie defenses, prompting applause from the kids. Timmy Robinson, on the other hand, does not appear to be impressed. He inquires of Mr. Bottoms as to what would happen if the buried zombies reappeared at some point in the future. He believes they may have been creeping their way up one step at a time. Mr. Bottoms is stunned, and the teacher abruptly dismisses the class. Willard also teaches the youngsters how to shoot a gun in case of a zombie assault. Timmy is bullied by two of his buddies, who are both sent to detention. Tommy notices the Barrows family coming into their neighborhood when he returns home. When Tommy tells about his bullies, his mother Helen welcomes him home but rejects him. Helen has prepared a multitude of foods for his father Bill when he arrives home from work later that evening. She had purchased a zombie to assist her around the house. As it turned out, Bill isn't overjoyed with his new buy because he is terrified of zombies. Helen, on the other hand, insists that their new neighbors have six zombies and that they should at least have one. Bill uses a remote to manipulate the beast, injuring him in the process. Timmy, a small child, feels sorry for the zombie and begs his father to stop. Timmy waits for Bill to play catch with him the next day, but Bill creates an excuse and goes golfing with his mates. Timmy's parents are unconcerned about their responsibilities to their child. In his home, his needs are frequently overlooked. He goes outside to play by himself, but Helen asks him to stop so the neighbors don't think he's lonely. Timmy then goes to the park, where he sees a zombie trying to pick up a can from the ground. Someone in the bushes is operating the can and causing havoc with the undead. Timmy investigates the bushes and discovers that his bullies are the perpetrators of the prank. When Timmy's new zombie comes to his aid, the bullies push him to the ground and are going to shoot him. He saves him by pushing the bullies away, Timmy expresses his gratitude to the zombie and calls in Fido. The two then attempt to play catch, but Fido has no idea how. Timmy instead plays fetch with Fido, treating him as if he were his personal dog. The ball lands near Timmy's obnoxious old neighbor, Mrs. Henderson, as they play. When Fido attempts to get it, the elderly woman confronts him and continuously strikes him, rendering his collar useless. Mrs. Henderson is killed when Fido reverts to a flesh-eating zombie. When Timmy comes on the scene, he sees him eating on Mrs. Henderson and is terrified. Fido makes his approach towards Timmy, but his collar suddenly stops working. Timmy drives him back to his house, but they fail to bring the ball. Fido and Timmy are currently cleaning Bill in his garage. Fido's chest has a surgery mark on it, so he assumes he died of a heart attack. Helen enters and inquires about their activities. Helen refuses to listen to Fido when he attempts to tell her about Mrs. Henderson. Timmy notes at breakfast the next day that Fido, like Bill's father, died of a heart attack, which irritates Bill. During the zombie war, he had to kill his own father. 
Mr. Bottoms then visits Tinnies to mingle and discuss Mrs. Henderson's abrupt disappearance. It turns out that the cops have begun their search for her. Timmy is paying attention to their discourse. After the guests have left, he inquires about Mrs. Henderson with his parents. Helen informs him that if a pet zombie attacks Mrs. Henderson, his masters will be sent to the town's danger zone. Mrs. Henderson transforms into a zombie at night and walks around the town. When she assaults a man, he becomes a zombie as well. Timmy is afraid of being thrown into danger, so he goes on the hunt for Mrs. Henderson's body to bury it. But all he discovers is her severed arm. Mrs. Henderson, a zombie, attacks Timmy, but he manages to whack her with a shovel. He decapitates her and buries her in a public garden after continuously striking her. At night, Fido is tethered to a tree outside. Timmy notices him straining and making quite a racket. When he goes to check on him, he notices that the collar's light is turned off, indicating that it isn't working. The Apoles, one of Timmy's neighbors, is awakened by the noise. He offers to assist Timmy in dealing with the zombies. Fida was taken to Mr. Theopolis's house where he is collared. Because a malfunctioning collar should be reported to the Zonkin, they agreed not to tell anybody about the occurrence. Helen gets Fido suited up in Bill's suit the next day to take him to a funeral. Fido has become a favorite of hers. Bill is intrigued with zombie funerals and goes to them as often as he can. The four go to the zombie's funeral, where the body and head are placed in separate coffins. Meanwhile, the zombie that Mrs. Henderson bit is attacking other park visitors. Zombies have taken over the town. Workers from Zonkin attack them and try to maintain control of the situation. Helen notices Timmy playing with Fido the next day and is relieved to discover he has finally made a buddy. She has juice for both of them. Bill objected, claiming that the zombie didn't need to eat or drink, but Helen insisted that he could. Bill is asked to stay at home and spend time with his family, but he drives off with a friend. He turns around as he walks away to see Fido, Helen, and Timmy playing together like a loving family. Mr. Bottoms apprehends Timmy's bullies for accidentally shooting a Zonkin worker's leg one day. Mr. Bottoms believes the kids shot and killed Mrs. Henderson, which has resulted in the creation of more zombies. The youngsters, on the other hand, place the blame on Timmy and Fido, claiming that Fido attacked them earlier in the park. Then we show Fido and Tommy ascending a hill while discussing how they'll always be together. They are suddenly attacked by the bullies, who tie them to a tree. Their aim is to destroy the collar and then kill Fido, causing everyone in town to believe they are heroes. They break his collar but refuse to shoot him because they are afraid. However, one of them is accidentally shot. Fido manages to get free and pursues the aggressor into a neighboring little hut. He consumes him there. He then approaches Timmy from behind and approaches him without harming him. Fido has formed an emotional link with Timmy that outweighs his desire to consume meat. Helen returns and Fido goes in search of help after he is unable to untie Timmy himself. Fido and Helen arrive just in time to stop a bully who has transformed into a zombie and is going to assault Timmy. Helen destroys the evidence by setting fire to the small cabin. Mr. Bottom's house is where the Robinsons end up later. Helen speaks with Dee Dee, Bottom's wife, about her pregnancy. Helen's kindness to Fido has been noted by Mr. Bottoms, who has notified Bill. Mrs. Henderson's killer, he suspects, is Fido. When they get home, Bill tries to talk to Helen, but she dismisses him. Meanwhile, Zonkin workers discover Mrs. Henderson's body, as well as the ball Timmy had left behind at the construction site. Fido is the prime suspect in the murder, and he is apprehended the next day. Mr. Bottoms intervenes when Timmy is dissatisfied and pursues Fido's van. Mr. Bottoms' daughter Cindy informs Timmy that Fido was still alive after a few days. Mr. Bottoms had been talking to someone on the phone about not squandering a good zombie. Fido is forced to work in a zonkin plant as slave labor. To get entrance to the factory and rescue Fido, they solicit the help of their next door neighbor, Mr. Theopolis. Mr. Theopolis was a zonkin employee until he was fired for having a romantic involvement with a zombie. He and Timmy travel to the zonkin headquarters, where zombies are repaired. Mr. Theopolis destroys the establishment by breaking a zombie's collar. All they have to do now is return Fido to the manufacturer on the other side. Helen and Bill, meanwhile, learn of Timmy's plot and travel to the Zonkin headquarters as well. While Mr. Theopolis battles the receptionist, Timmy manages to slip into the plant. Mr. Bottoms, on the other hand, catches Timmy sneaking into the building through the CCTV camera. Mr. Bottoms tracks down Timmy and tosses him over the town's surrounding gate. A swarm of feral zombies approaches the youngster as he pleads for help. Mr. Bottoms is asked to let Timmy in by Fido and Bill, 
who arrive at the same moment. Timmy manages to re-enter the fence after a heated confrontation between Bill and Mr. Bottoms. He brandishes a weapon at Mr. Bottoms and begs for his father's release, but Mr. Bottoms mistakenly kills Bill. Fido's collar is then broken by Timmy, who forces him to attack Mr. Bottoms. Fido kills Bottom and saves Timmy in the end. Helen arranges for Bill's burial some weeks later. Fido is no longer incarcerated and now lives with Helen, Timmy, and Helen's newborn kid. Mr. Bottoms has turned into a zombie, and his daughter Cindy is in charge of him. Fido affectionately embraces the newborn infant at the end of the film. We hope you enjoyed our video from today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications of new and interesting videos.